Hey, 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 it is an unstoppable day. And welcome to another episode of Talking Small Business with Terrence Leftridge. And I'm your host, Terrence, the unstoppable coach Leftridge, the Talking Small Business show where we help you move from being stuck in your business to being unstoppable. And as your host with Unstoppable Coaching Services, our goal is to help you live the life that you're business as well as your personal life was created to live. So welcome to another episode. Uh, thank you for reaching out and being a part of the Talking Small Business Show each and every week. We stream live on Be Live TV as well as on all podcast areas such as Apple, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and many others. So check us out. You can go to our show page on on Facebook at bit.ly forward slash capital T, capital S, capital B, capital T, capital L for Talking Small Business with Terrence Leftridge. We're so glad that you're here with us today. Come on in. If you're listening to us live, go ahead and show us some love, send us some hearts, send that information out to your friends. We have another great show for you today, and we're going to be talking about residential and commercial cleaning, residential and commercial cleaning especially at a time that we are in right now. That's something that is going to be very important. And so we've got a great guest that's going to be sharing her information about residential and commercial cleaning. She is the co-owner of Miracle Solutions, and we're going to bring her on in just a few minutes. Um, the Miracle Solutions is out of Tampa, Florida, and they believe in the three C's. And what are the three C's? The three C's are confident and caring and committed service. See, they believe that at Miracle Solutions that if you touch it, we clean it. And they've been doing a fantastic job. And I'm sure if you check out their website at www.miraclesolutions.com, you'll see all the powerful and wonderful testimonies that they have uh, on their website. So without further ado, we are going to welcome to the show our guest for today. She is none other than Janelle Harris, welcome to the show, Janelle. How are you? Okay, uh, we lost we lost your mic. Let me see. Uh, I think it's on my end. Here we go. Mic check. Mic check. Are you with us? Yes, yes, yes. How are you, you this me? morning, Janelle? Good, yes, we good, can hear good, you good, real good. Good. good morning. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy, happy Saturday, uh, the greatest day of the week for business owners, I'm sure, like yourself. Welcome to Talking Small Business with Terrence Leftridge. How are you doing this morning? I am doing amazing. You know how we do. We wake up winning. But thank you so much for inviting me, giving me the opportunity to just, um, you know, talk small business with you and just kind of do some education in this, during this time. Absolutely. Well, we're play pleased to have you on the show. Miracle Solutions LLC. And for everybody who may be listening and can't see the live broadcast, Miracle is spelled with a K. So Janelle, yes. why don't you just take a couple of seconds and uh, introduce yourself to the audience. Uh, I always feel our guests can do a better bio than anything that's sent to me. So take a second and tell us about Janelle and your, your, your wonderful husband and Miracle Solutions LLC. Okay, thank you. Um, I am Janelle, one of the co-authors with Janelle Harris uh, for Miracle Solutions. Um, we have been in business for over 20 years. We started in Virginia, the DMV area, a small town called Fredericksburg, Virginia. Um, I started out by helping other contractors get companies and get cleaning bids. And um, I found the name 
for, for my daughter. My daughter's name is Miracle. She's a Miracle baby. And I said, hey, why don't I just create the K on Miracle Solutions just to kind of give it a different twist, a different swag. So um, I've partnered up with a couple of contractors that was way before me. They were in the game. They were heavy hitters. They were contracted with Jam Pro. And I would market for them. So one day I said, you know what, let me just try this. Let me just go ahead and, you know, LLC my, my, my name and let's just try to test the waters. So I failed. I, I, I was horrible at getting contracts for cleaning. So I said, you know, I am a marketer beast. What is it that I'm missing? So I can clean really well. And I said, okay, well, I'm going to go to an office, a random office. And I went in there and I pitched myself. I was like, hey, just try me. I'll give you a one-time cleaning. And she says, okay, we can do that. I said, it's free. You know, I just want to show you my business. And I went in there. It was a doctor's office. Um, fairly big. I kind of picked the, the biggest one to do a, um, a free trial. So I got my crew. We went in there. And I worked for a doctor's office at the time as well. And I believe working for a doctor's office equipped me to know what to look forward to and what to clean and what to expect in a office setting as far as healthcare. So staff will complain, oh, the cleaning people didn't do this. They didn't clean my mouse. They didn't clean underneath the table. The light switch was dirty. So little things is what equipped me to say, hey, maybe this is what I can do. So again, the first off doctor's office was the free trial. I scored. After I hit that office, I started getting referrals after referrals in doctor's office settings. Why? Because I knew what to focus on. And Miracle Solutions has been in business since then. Um, my grandmother taught me how to clean, you know, using the water with the Clorox. So we're detailed. And that's where I came up with the motto, you touch it, we clean it. I love it. I love it. We're hanging out with Janelle Harris. She's the founder of Miracle Solutions, and she just shared a bit of her unstoppable story on Talking Small Business with Terrence Leftridge. If you're watching us live, feel free to go in and give us some hearts, some love, some shout outs, and any comments that you might have as we talk about the topic of residential and commercial cleaning today. So Janelle, you you went in, you scored, you took a chance, you took a risk, and and the rest is proverbial history, as they say. Yes. So how long yes. has it been since you've been in business? 20, 20, 20 years. Twenty, it's been 20 years. years. So you've yes. probably seen a lot of things change in the way that uh we do business the way you do commercial and residential cleaning. Uh, you've probably seen difference is in the materials and the ingredients that you may use for your, your cleaning processes. But, you know, we've never seen anything like what we're dealing with right now. So how has COVID-19 uh, affected your, your business, affected your clients, and affected the way you may do business with your clients? Yes, um, fortunately, in this so in this season, in this time, um, we are affected by it. Um, on 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 the, on the positive note, we are here twenty four seven to do a sanitize or a deodorize or biochemical cleaning. Um, however, on the consistent basis side, we have a lot of companies that were forced to close their business. Um, and we do understand that um, just for health reasons. And, you know, we have to follow suit, follow protocol. So that puts um, a damper in employing staff. Um, my staff are not able to, you know, work at this time. So that's where, you know, the downside, of, you know, what could we do different going forward? However, um, I recently received a call from a residential home where they had a, a backup sewer. And um, not many cleaning 
services are equipped to handle that type of um, demand. Yeah, but that's a specialized um, job. Yes, absolutely. So you talk about you have to be certified in biohazards and chemicals. You just have to be actually certified to actually carry certain chemicals. That's just the you know the average person is not understanding how to use it. You know now, now my husband. He specialized in floor care and carpet care. So you may have a sewer that's backed up where you can't even save the carpet, right? And then you may have a, a sewer package where you can actually use your biochemical and it can go through the seam and you can clean it up from there. There may be times where you literally have to come and say, hey, we got to remove the carpet. And we can get this odor out of here, but the carpet has to be removed. Then you may say, hey, oh, we can save the carpet. Now, we have to understand that, of course, like feces or any um, unsanis- yeah, unsanitary things, that's, that's it's not really easy to go away, germs. So um, this is where you have to be really educated and knowledgeable at what you do because you have to know what type of degree it is. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, it could be where we got to pull up that floor completely, get underneath the thing because those things sit there. So we have treatment. They're called treatment plans where we literally come out, we assess it, and we'll get to it right away because you can't ha- let that sit there. So that's a good thing with Miracle Solutions. Um, so our client was very, it was an apartment complex, and she was like, oh, my God, it's late but this is what happened and it's COVID. What can you do? I said, we'll be out there, right, you know, shortly. Right. And we went out there. We didn't go out there with the intentions of coming back home. We went out there to serve. So we took all of our equipment and we was prepared for the job. No matter how bad it is, we would try to at least make it sustainable so we can figure out a plan of action for the next day. So, however, we went out there, it wasn't that bad, but we did recommend that the people should not, you know, really (laughs) stay there overnight. So um, what the client loved about the service was, you know, we didn't promise her a false story. We didn't give her hope. We said, hey, this is a plan of action. This is what we can do for, you know, your starters, but they have to be removed out of the home. And she was like, oh my God, well, at least, you know, thank you. And, you know, they took care of all those other stuff. So anyway, um, we were able to do treatment A, treatment B, and we'll be back out to do treatment C. But we saved her tons of money, yeah. tons of money, because we zeroed in on what's what's factual, you know? And um, the main thing is removing that smell. That's first in priority. You've got to remove the smell. And, and, and if anyone, and not knocking any other business, but anyone have a sewer package, it's, it's treatment. There's consistent contingency plan and plan of action. Um, and we don't pay extra to come back out. So let's just say if something was to appear again, we'll do that at zero cost. And that's what makes us stand out. And, and we're great all the time. That is a great ad- advantage. And that, that's good that you add that into your service because you're giving that personal touch with your customer service. We're talking to yes. Janelle Harris. She's the founder of Miracle Solutions here on Talking Small Business with Terrence Leftridge. We've got a couple of comments in the comment room already. Michael Freeland is saying, excellent. Many at home need this information. Congratulations on your successful business. And we have Larry Pace that says, Hi to Terrence. Hey, Larry. Thank you for hey, how are you? Good morning. We've got yes. Nikki Hammer saying good morning. Good morning to you, Nikki Hammer out of Chicago. And we've yes. got a question uh, I'm going to put up in just a second. But before I put that question up, I want to talk about uh, one of the one of the key things that separates Miracle Solutions from other uh residential and commercial cleaning companies. There are a lot of companies out there where somebody just decided, you know what, I may do some maintenance work on my day job and I just want to, you know, do some handy yeah. stuff on the side. And so why yeah. don't I just go and start my own business? And they don't take the necessary steps to really be certified 
in this business. But now Miracle yes. Solutions is cleaning and restoration certified. What does that certification, how does that set you apart from the other companies that are out there doing what you do? And that That's a great question. Um, we don't just believe in just cleaning. You know what I mean? So, so let, let's look at that in terms of two ways where you know that you have a hobby or you, you're really passionate about this, you know, or you're really serious about this or you're dedicated to this. So there's different categories, I would say. Now, um, it's good to say, hey, you know what? I want to just start a small business, extra gig, just extra. And that's fine. And just find yourself maybe about two to three contracts. You'll say, okay, what do I need in terms of, you know, extra money? And you'll do that. But um, what we do, we believe in the services. So we went and did webinars to classes, um, align ourselves with other franchise owners um, to get to understand the business. Um, and of course, I have, uh, you know, over 20 years of manage managerial, you know, exp expertise, um, leadership. And my husband has a lot of um, floor care, a lot of things that he's really well with his hands. So what we did was put our brains together and said, well, you know what? We just don't want this to be just a cleaning business. We want this to be a corporation, a franchise. And in order to get to that place, you have to study your craft. And it's just not cleaning. You're talking about um, bringing leadership into your place of business, communication, where you can establish a relationship with your clients. You know what your clients want. You, you step customer's attitude. So um, I hear a lot of people come in and say, hey, look, I just need a job. And I would know, okay, this is not going to last. So this is going to last because people just look at cleaning as just cleaning their home. And that's just not it. You are, you have to be detailed. It's just like that. So if you're sewing this material, you see the zags, the zigzags is in yes. its right, proper place. So dusting, dusting, for instance, doesn't go away. We get that. But here, here's the thing. There's some cleaning people or, or cleaning businesses, they come out and they have like a, a scope cleaning, right? And you have one time a week, twice a month, you know, this and this and that. Believe it or not, our scope clean is daily. See, because if you're hitting certain things once a week, then that tells you that the next day and the next day you're going to have some pileups there right. so we just do things daily like like just you're there in that contract just get it done daily you know even if it's clean still dust it because if you continue to keep it clean and keep the surface areas clean you will have a clean facility now one of the things that i do throw in my contract when i reach out to clients is like hey you do understand that it's a dual thing it's two people I can't just come in in the night or come in once a week and then, you know, we're going to just expect this miracle. We both have to maintain this cleaning together. And once we do this together, you will definitely see your, you know, your clean. You, you'll see your deep cleaning literally every day. It'll smell clean. And um, one of my clients was like, wow, I never really noticed that. So let's look at offices you have offices and you have staff and you have managers and this is not to put anybody on the spot you know sometimes your manager cannot look at each thing each detail thing so we come in in the night and i have this communication track record and this goes directly to the the owner of the organization or the superior and we say, hey, by the way, and we update them so, or we say, you know, hey, you know, we've noticed that this has been piling up there. We've touched it. But, hey, you know, try to keep that area clean. And they love it, by the way, because now they can let their staff know like, hey, and once you have that understanding, the cleaning is better for you and it's better for myself, you know, and you got to look at there's there's. Your place of business is like your home. You know, people come in there. Um, let's just look at a doctor's office. Doctor's office, you know that there's wait times, right? 
and you know their patient is literally sitting there waiting have nothing to do let's just say they're not on their cell phone or there's no wi-fi available you know what they're doing they are paying attention they are sizing up your business and the first thing they're looking at cleansiness so you even have yeah definitely this is particularly now for doctors off this. Just say, you know, doctors are running behind. Nine out of 10, they are running behind. They'll come in the room, they'll assess, and they'll say, hey, I'll be right back and go, and blah, blah, blah. Do you know that hour, or hopefully it's not an hour, but even if it's 20 minutes, that person is going to know the dust. They're going to look at the mouse, the mouse on your computer. Who's thinking about cleaning the mouse on the right, computer? Right. Most, most, of, most of your employees are yeah. thinking about getting the work done. They're not thinking about all the other things. But, you know, many of us uh, spend the majority of our working days of our day period uh, in our office, yes. not even at our home. So it's important for you to have that communication. Billy Miller says communication relationship, not just cleaning. I I love it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, yeah. we also talked about that, uh, the not just the communication, but you also talked about specifics. You talked about yes. sanitizing and deodorizing chairs, light switch, doorknobs, computer keyboards, what you just said, things that we don't typically think about, but Miracle Solutions keeps that top of mind with your clients. Yes. Is, that, is that correct? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Every day. Um, the, well, now more so. Now we did implement certain things before, but even now with COVID, we're like, wait, we should have been doing that. So yes. Yeah, so deodorizing, we have like fabric cleaners and we do the chairs every day, daily, back front. Um, and that gives it a good smell. You know, um, we're moving calendars. You know, everybody have their calendars on their desk. Right. Underneath, what's underneath there? <laughs> um, your PC cords. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, how many times you have to shut down and boot down? You know, your monitor screen. Like all of that is dusty. Nobody cleans it at all. <laughs> so you're making you're, making me, you're making me look around my office as we talk, talking about oh my god, I can't let Janelle come in here. <laughs> yes, 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 absolutely. One of the questions that came up in the feed as we're talking to Janelle Harris, the founder of Miracle Solutions, on the Talking Small Business with Terrence Leftridge show. In this wake of COVID nineteen, are you are you having difficulty getting supplies due to the pandemic, or how? No, no, no. Guys? Um, everything is green. I know that we do know that green cleaning. So no, um, we use janitorial supplies, heavy, heavy stuff. And we, our inventory was pretty huge. Um, I'm glad you did mention that. That's a great question. You know, a lot of people think you can, if there's some solution, right? You're spraying all those chemicals. So you're coming in an organization and you're smelling chemicals and fumes. All you need is a tip. So we definitely, we take our time and we use what we need to use. So we, we are really stocked. You just need that one drop and then you dilute it with water. And that can last you at least for a week on, on, a, on a contract. So I haven't experienced any um, difficulties ordering any supplies during pandemic. But you got to use your supplies wisely. Well, that's great. And, and and piggybacking off that, you know, there's there's the question, and it was coming up even before COVID nineteen. But you know, there's this there's this debate about the industrial chemical types of uh, solutions versus the earth friendly solutions or the organic yeah. solutions. Uh, w- what's your feeling on that as an expert in the field? Well, you, you have, um, if you look at like Fabulous or cleaning, you, you go to the dollar store and you end up purchasing all these things and it's really senseless. But when you go and you get biochemicals, which is, it kills 99% of germs, you know, those things you want to use. Um, even I recommend Clorox, you know, so, you know, we, we buy into what smells good and believe it or not, the ugliest, nastiest smell does the job and it doesn't last too long. You know, 
And it's just true, like, and I'm not knocking anything you got, Mr. Clean, but when you go green and you go to um, a factory, you know, a janitorial factory, they'll come with all those things, bio cleaning, bio green, you know, anything green is what you really want to use um, to clean. And then if you just want to be safe, your Clorox and water, Clorox and water is always um, a necessity in your home, in your business. Clorox and water. All right. So it sounds like just like what you said earlier, what you what your grandma taught you, the same thing yeah. applies with the things that you use. Good, strong, yes. uh, tried, true chemicals. Don't get get caught up in the okie doke. Don't if it looks good, if the package looks good, that doesn't ask necessarily mean it's going to do the job for you. Michael yes. Freeland is uh, wishing you blessings. He's saying he certainly prays that your business survives through these difficult moments. Your specific skill set in your work will be needed. And I believe your business will boom when the doors open. Yes. So thank you. Thank you. Thank for you. Those great. Thank uh, you. Those great uh, prayers there, Michael. I'm sure that Miracle Solutions will receive that and look forward to the boom when this yeah, passes, because yeah, this, yeah. this too shall pass. You know, Janelle, when I was prepping for this show, I was thinking about uh, all the first responders and all the healthcare teams and medical staff and uh, our people that are working, uh, sales, cashiers, stock, uh, in our grocery stores. And the word essential uh, just kept popping in my head. And so I wanted to get your thoughts as we wrap up the show for this episode about that word essential. And it is actually going to be our TSBT quote of the week. So let me pop it up on the screen real quick. And it just says, this and and this is a uh, Terence Leffridge quote. So this is whether inside or outside, yeah. you are essential. Let me say that again. Whether inside or outside, you are essential. You know, we we give a shout out to all of those above named people that I just mentioned because they are on the front lines, literally uh, making sure that we are safe and making sure that we are secure during these times. But that doesn't take away from the fact that you and I and anyone who's watching right now is essential in their own rights. You may not be essential to me getting my groceries. You may not be essential to me getting my health care, but you may be essential to my mental stamina. You may be that person that picks up the phone and just says, hey, Terrence, how you doing? And that makes my day. Or you may be the CEO of a company like Janelle, where you are responsible for the mental and the spiritual lifeblood of your company. You're that leader that they look to. You're that captain of your business ship, and they look to you to navigate these stormy seas. So Janelle, when, when we talk about essential, take a second, because I know you are very spiritual and you are a motivator on top of being a, a founder of a fantastic company. S speak a little bit about how each one of us are essential, especially in this time. Hmm. Wow, that, that's, that's deep. Um, we are all, like, this is just humanity. Um, so every everyone and every purpose, there there's a need. And, um, you know, being that we're talking small business, I want to tie this in and I, and I hope people can follow me. You know, you talk about essentials and I want to tie it in with the business. So I go into a office and I'm using gloves because, you know, essential is, is deep. You know, what we do behind closed doors matter. It's just not, you know, we're appearing to be beautiful and and, um, and we're not living up. So inside and out, and I'm just going to throw a little swag on this here. When I go into an office to clean, I have over 40 gloves, okay? And when I go into a restroom, 
I'm using my gloves, I'm cleaning. Before I leave that bathroom, I take my gloves off then versus opening the doorknob. You know, essential is something where it's like, I need to have this integrity. You know, we, we got to really understand that humanity. And when I really believe it's like, I want to be treated how I want to treat you, how I want to be treated. And I think once we follow suit and follow those guidelines, we'll be, we'll, we'll be happy. You know, this, this world would be so effective because I will be robbing somebody else if I clean that restroom. And I opened up the door with those same gloves that I cleaned the yeah. restroom with. So am I really, whether inside or outside, you are essential? Think about it. So so I would say, and I want to close with that, is treat people like how you would want to be treated all yeah. the way around. I love it. And to piggyback on what you said, uh, my grandma used to tell me, my mama used to tell me, uh, elders used to tell me, uh, leave the place like you found it yes. and that's how you can be an essential part of helping us get through this pandemic that we're going through. If you just take the time that when you walk into a clean bathroom, you do your part, you wash your hands, you make sure that's right. you uh, do all the steps that you need to do. You make sure you clean up after yourself so that when the next person comes in before the restoration or cleaning crew comes in each and every yeah. day, that, that, it's staying in the same manner in the way you found it. Each and every one of us has an essential task of maintaining the quality and the character of the work that Miracle Solutions and many other uh, cleaning companies are doing. These cleaning companies, these restoration companies, especially now, are essential to us yes. maintaining our health as we find a cure mm -hmm. for this latest pandemic. So when I speak of inside or out, whether you yes. are actually outside like Miracle Solutions doing yes. the work or whether you're inside your own house sheltered in place, you still have the opportunity to be essential in helping yes. all of us get through this. Because as the tagline says, we're all in this together. This together. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let me throw up, uh, see if there's any other comments. Uh, Chandra Harding says, great morning. Uh, we've got Billy Miller. He's saying integrity is doing right when no one else is else watching. Is watching. I love that. Uh, well, yes. we are going to, we're going to leave that uh, as the, the last comment for today, but we want to give so, Nell the opportunity of... to give the last word and then give information on how they can get in contact with you if they're interested in using Miracle Solutions for their commercial cleaning or residential cleaning vendor. Yes, um, you can reach me at www.miracle with the K solutions with the S Dot com. I am in Tampa, Florida, servicing Peter St. Pete, uh, Clearwater, Largo, Lakeland, Brandon, Tampa, Sefner, uh, Wesley Chapel. So if you need a referral outside of Florida, please, you can still reach me as I can, um, I can send you a lead. Um, and I want to just close with, you know, COVID-19 is something we may not never forget, but love, peace, harmony, that's something that has to be with us and through us. And once we continue with those positive traits and discipline ourselves with having those traits, the world would be a better place. Well said, well said. That's Janelle Harris, the founder of Miracle Solutions, LLC out of Tampa, Florida. You can reach out to her. She may not be servicing your area physically, but she's also available for consultations. Uh, if you want to get some information on how you can better prepare your office in between cleanings. So just go ahead and make sure you reach out to them at MiracleSolutions.com. 
Com. Thank you so much, Janelle. I'm gonna put you back in the lobby, but don't hang up. We appreciate you for spending some time here on the TSBTL, the Talking Small Business with Terrence Lefford Show. You have. Thank you for having me. Bye, guys. Thank you for having me. All right, you guys. So that is our show for today, the Talking Small Business with Terrence Leftridge show. Uh, I hope you found that to be great information. Michael Freeland said, thank you so much for your useful insight and commitment to sustain. Thank you, Terrence, for your show that adds value to the guests and listeners. Stay safe and be blessed, my friend. Thank you so much, Michael, for that inf- for that great uh, comments, those accolades. And thank you all who uh, chimed in live and left comments in the feed. Again, you can go back and check out this show on the replay. You can go to our Facebook page for Talking Small Business with Terrence Leftridge. That is bit.ly forward slash T-S-B-T-L. That's bit.ly forward slash T-S-B-T-L. Or you can check us out on demand on our podcast. And we are on all podcast platforms, including Apple, including Spotify, including Google Podcast, and many others. So go back and tell a friend about Talking Small Business with Terrence Leftridge, where we help you and your business move from being stuck into being unstoppable with tools and strategies that help you move to the next level of your greatness. I'm Terrence, the unstoppable Coach Leffridge. And as always in parting, I don't want you to just have a great day. Go out and remember that you are essential to all of us getting through this, remembering that we're all in this together. And you go out and you make it an unstoppable day. Take care, everybody.